Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. And this is February 22nd through March 1st for my Cancer and Geminis. This, there will be two readings on this. We're going backwards. We started with Pisces and Aquarius. We're moving toward Aries from the reverse. Okay, if you watch this, and I don't have time to timestamp it, if you could... Please timestamp it in the comments for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're just going to move into it. Let's just go. This is for cancer. Okay, spirit, please put my ego to the outside of the circle of protection that I put around us. Because this is my sign. And I don't want to go putting my ego filters all over it. So please send my ego to the outside. For cancers, love reading, for twin flames, soulmates, relationships, partnerships, divine love, love of any sort, really. Whoever's on your heart and mind. From February 22nd to March 1st for cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Cancer. Ooh, we have... <laughs> We have the Page of Swords in reverse. I'm going to have to look and see if these are supposed to be reverse. Yep. Spirit says they're supposed to be in the reverse. We're in the upright. We're good. All right. So since I've looked at it twice now, I'm just going to put it on the board. When I see them, i got to put them on the board. I didn't look at the other ones. So these are the two I saw. I saw the Four of Swords in reverse and the Star card in the upright. So, Cancer, in the past, in the recent past, um, we had a lot of talk and no action from somebody that's on your heart and mine. This is a dreamer without action. You know, they're all up in their head. Undelivered promises. This is, you know, this could be a stalker type energy. They watch you. They check your news feed, your social media. They might drive by your house. I feel like there's a longing here in this page of swords, a longing for communication, a longing uh, to speak their mind, but they're holding back. They're way holding back. All talk, no action. Spirit's correcting me saying, in the past it was all talk and no action. Now there isn't a whole lot of talk either. A little bit, not a lot. All right, in the present situation, you've got the five of wands. Five of Wands is avoiding conflict. It's um, moving away from conflict with a renewed focus, a renewed goal. You're moving forward. This is moving out, moving forward. Okay, and in the future, you, you take on the Queen of Swords, which is really hard for a Cancer. It's really hard for a Cancer to take on the Queen of Swords archetype, but it looks like you're going to have to. You're going to have to, you're going to have to be firm and you're going to have to make some action and, and oh. decisive action. You need to take decisive action. I'm going to get a clarifier on that. And there's healing and hope at the bottom of your spread. Healing and hope, hope and healing, hope and healing, hope, faith and healing, wish fulfillment. This is getting a, for some of you, this is being in the limelight too. I don't know why I'm saying that, but for some of you, it's being in the limelight, being under the star, being a star. Somebody thinks of you as a star. Huh. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. No, you don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my, 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 my show. <laughs> Sorry, it's what spirit brought me. So yeah, this whoever's whoever this page of swords is, they, there's a lot of love here. You're their wish. You're their star. So why are you moving away and why are you in the Queen of Swords energy in the near future? 
We got to get some clarifiers. Come on, spirit. What's going on with cancer? The week of February 22nd through March 1st. What's going on with cancer? Who is this page of swords? Who is the page of swords? Can you give me some clarity, some insight into the energy of the page of swords in reverse? What does this mean for cancer? What does it mean for cancer? God, I wanted to come out. We got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in this deck, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little different. He's not holding tight to his pentacles. He's not protecting his heart, his genitalia, and whatever else. His chakras. This guy is firmly footed. And he's offering, he's making an offer. Half of what he has. Wow. So, Cancer, I'm hearing for some of you, this person that's on your heart and mind, they're going through a separation or a divorce or something where there has to be a splitting of assets. And he's not holding tight to it, or she. It's a he in the card, but they're not holding tight. They're, they're willing Nope, Spirit says it was in reverse. You're forgetting, Tracy, it was in reverse. All right, so the Page of Swords is going through something where assets are being distributed. And he feels like he's coming out on the losing end of it. Because in the reverse, in the upright, it's, it's the okay to spend. In the reverse, in this deck, it's needing to save. So this puts this person in a place of compromise where they feel like they are being taken advantage of and they're losing more than their fair share. The judgment is not feeling, because I don't know that this is true. I feel like they feel, they feel like an injustice, like somebody's trying to take more than they deserve. How does this affect my cancer? Hmm. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I asked, how does this affect cancer? And I've got, there's a tower moment. Then there's the, the tower happened. I'm hearing that was in the past. And it happened for the page of swords. Sent them into hermit mode. Speak to me, Spirit. This could be with a Virgo. Or a fire sign. Or an air sign. And we've got Aquarius showing up, which is an air sign. Okay, so this is all about marriage. This is coming out. Coming out of a marriage. We got the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles clarifying. So this person, this page, is divvying up assets, losing money because of a divorce, a break in a contract. This sent them into the hermit mode where they felt like they had to go within, do a little soul searching. And with the Hermit in reverse, I'm hearing they, they've gained the enlightenment that they needed. They've gained the enlightenment, but they're, they haven't moved forward. They're still there, still in Hangman, even though Spirit has told them how to move forward. They haven't done it. What needs to happen 
Ace of Swords. There needs to be clear communication. A victory through communication. This is all past energy. Well, past and, and present. I'm hearing, yeah, this is it's happening. It's not happened. It began happening a while ago. It's still happening. All right, tell me more about the Five of Wands in reverse. Thank you. We got the Four Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're moving out. You, you've got a renewed zest for life, but you had to move away. You had to cut this person out, even if it's just for a time. Just for a spell is what I'm hearing. Where are we moving to? What is Cancer going to do in this Queen of Swords energy? Oh, six of Cups. <sighs> six of Cups is a soulmate. It's past life soulmate. And sometimes it's a twin flame. I'm just hearing you're cutting your twin flame away so you can heal. Give me an action card. What's coming in the future with this healing and this Six of Cups? Queen of Swords. What's happening in this? Give me a clear, clear vision on what's happening for Cancer. In the near future, what does this mean? Six of Cups, Queen of Swords. Thank you. Another clarifier. Another clarifier, please. Another one. Six of Cups. What does this mean? Thank you. Oh, yeah. The devil and the wheel of fortune. Okay. I'm hearing that, that now I've got a Capricorn involved. I'm hearing Capricorn. All right, so you you might have to cut this person out of your life for a small amount of time. Stand firm. You're going to have to set boundaries is what I'm hearing. Let me restart. Cancer, you need to set healthy, clear boundaries. Without emotion, you need to, to be in your power and not in your emotion. Because this is a soulmate. This is somebody that matters to you. And you don't want to cut their heads off or get rid of them, but you need to really put up some very firm, healthy boundaries, okay? Respect me. Treat me right. Teach teach me? Teach me is what I'm hearing. Teach me. I don't know what that means. But then you've got, you know, the Nine of Wands. It's just stand your ground. You know, you've gone, you've undergone a lot of trials and, and you, it's not time to give up. What are we not giving up on? We're not giving up on this person because they're tied to someone else at the moment. They're not free. They're not free to be yours. But the Wheel of Fortune is here and it's in the upright. And it's going to bring you healing and wish fulfillment. So I'm going to leave it there. I really am. And then you've got the Knight of Cups on the bottom. So we will take it. Take it and run with it. It's only a week, guys. It's only a week. So, yeah, there's there's stuff in the background here. Somebody's getting a divorce. It's somebody you care about. You're giving them space, it feels like, Cancer. You're giving them space. You're moving forward with a new zest for life. You're putting healthy boundaries up. You recognize that this is a soul contract. You're not giving up on it. But you have to wait because there might be a Capricorn involved there's the Ten of Pentacles over here, too. If it's not a Capricorn, it's just codependency. It's marriage. It's not being free to love at the moment. But it's happening. It's coming. It's coming. you got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. 
You got the Knight of Cups coming to bring you a cup of roses by the looks of it. If you get roses from somebody, that could be a sign. And what is all this leading to? This is leading to healing. You've got the, the Four of Swords in reverse and the Star card in the upright. This is wish fulfillment. This is blessed by the universe, divine timing. You know, the, the star always comes after the tower. So there must have been a tower moment in the past. And divorce is happening. There's a separation. There's time here. Divine timing, I'm hearing. Calling in your soulmate. I was told to take that. I saw it, so I was told to take it. Some oracle cards for my cancers. Oracle cards. So yeah, cancer, just move forward. Do you. You know, love on you. Set some firm, healthy boundaries. Don't close yourself off to this contract. Don't give up. Because you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help to bring the two of you together. And I can see them. I'm taking those because they came out. I can see them coming. That Knight of Cups. This is new love and passion with a soulmate. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, passion. Heart to heart conversations is on the bottom. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. All right, Cancer, that's your reading for the week. I hope it resonated. It kind of does for me. Actually, it really does for me. I kind of didn't want it to, but it kind of does. So, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell. What else do I need to tell you? Don't forget that I'm in uh, Buffalo, New York this weekend if you want to come see me. Oh, and the contest information is in the bottom. Look for a huge growth. I'm, I'm really holding out manifesting for a huge growth in my my channel with as shows happen in my life as I travel and do these shows around the states I'm going to be giving out pamphlet or handouts and um, business cards with my channel on it and so hopefully it's going to grow a lot in the near future so if you want to be a part of that, if you want to donate to my channel, if you want to give an exchange of energy with me, uh, the link is in the bottom. If you use my PayPal link, whether you're ordering a personal reading or if you're just donating, make sure you hit the friends and family option. Um, <clears throat> it'll save you money, save me money. So um, is there anything else? I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. I don't know. Have a beautiful weekend and I love you. Okay, we're going to move forward now. We're going to go on to Gemini. What's going on with the twins? My Gemini energy, the lovers. What's going on with you guys? We're almost there. One more video after this one. I didn't think I'd get them done for the weekend, but I am. We're just plugging them right out here. It'll take me forever to upload them. I'll probably have to do it at the hotel on Friday. We'll see. Hopefully they've got fast internet speed. So look for this over the weekend, guys. I'm going to try to get them out to you as soon as possible. I'll start today. One or two of you might see yours pop up tonight, but they won't all be up until over the weekend. All right. This is for Gemini. Show me what I need to know, spirit. What's going on in Gemini's life? i got to make sure my deck is in the upright position. This is the upright. Okay, we have the moon. Two of wands in reverse. Oh, and the death card in reverse. Or judgment. Death? Death card in reverse. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the five of swords. Yeah, somebody's been fighting. There's been some hidden deception in the past. This is moving you forward, and um, you're not clear about which way you're going to go. You're also not clear if this is truly over with, because the death card's in reverse. So you're asking yourself, is this over? Are we done? This moon card also is telling me that there was a lot of purging and a lot of healing that you've done, Gemini, during this uh, full moon, new moon 
blue moon, red moon, blood moon, <laughs> whatever they were. The energies really, really disrupted you in the past, okay? And it put a lot, it didn't shine any light on your situation. If anything, it marked the waters up and you, you needed a healing. You needed to go deep. Did you? I'm not sure. Because we have the two of wands in reverse. This is no plans for your future. Not even sure where you're moving. It's like I have no clue. That's what I'm hearing. I have no clue. And I don't know if this relationship is over or not. Is it dead? Is it gone? Five of Swords. I don't know. That's a lot of... Um, this is winning the battle, but not the war. This is past conflict. I'm hearing inner conflict, too. All right. Let's get a clarifier on this moon card for my Geminis. Can we get a clarifier on the moon card for Gemini, please? Clarifier on the moon card for Gemini. One... Two, three. My son is home. Don't be surprised if he doesn't come up here and disrupt everything. He hasn't seen his mommy all day. Okay, clarifying. Oh, new beginnings. I like it. Yes, I do. I like it, like it, like it. Freedom, novice beginning, on my way, new cycle. Ugh. Unlimited potential. Leap of faith. New beginnings. That's nice. It's nice. So you're moving on. We clearly see it here. You're moving forward. Oh, but you don't know how you're moving forward. How are we moving forward? By healing. You need to heal. Oh, and then you've got the four of wands. That's what you're moving toward. Because I saw the two of wands and I was asking in my head. Where are we moving from and what are we moving to? Because you had the two of wands in reverse. So I was asking spirit, moving away from and toward. So you're moving away from the four of swords. You are healing. You are coming out of a healing. And this is a new beginning for you. Four. You got two fours on the table. That's foundation, stability, but you're moving toward the Four of Wands. That's my Twin Flame card. That's my Soulmate card. So this is this is a divine relationship. Whoever's on your heart and mind, whether you're confused about it or not, there's a new beginning, a healing coming for you, and you're moving toward union with your divine counterpart. That's what I'm seeing here. The Death card in reverse. Let's get a clarifier on the Death card in reverse in the future. I'm already knowing, I'm hearing that this is this. This is that moon card, the deception. Yeah, with the six of cups. Go figure. Yeah, definitely twin flame. Definitely soulmate. You've got the knight of wands. It wanted to be in the reverse. I turned it over because I wanted to read what was on it. So we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that the Death card in reverse means that this person from your past, this soulmate, this twin flame, used to be a player, used to come in and out of your life like this, Gemini, in and out. They love to be in love, you know, and when the love wore off, they moved on to other loves. But I'm hearing that death card, there's been a transformation. There's been a change. They've coming out of that energy. That's why the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Because that's not the energy that they're moving in anymore. So tell me, what kind of energy is this Knight of Wands moving in now? Ten of Wands, rele releasing burdens, plans, and light ahead. Releasing burdens. And, and then the happy life. Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Six of Wands in the upright. I'm not going any further, guys. This looks beautiful, Gemini. It's coming together for you. This person is coming back to you changed. Completely transformed. No longer the in and out, not staying kind. 
So, and there, you're going to lighten your burdens because in the past, in this card, the Ten of Wands, this guy is planting seeds, acorns. All right, so he's releasing burdens of the past, letting go of what used to be and planting seeds for the future. Because the ground is fertile again, is what I'm hearing. The ground is fertile again. Your twin flame is coming back and the ground is fertile again. And there's going to be an apology. Nope, not an apology. This is the King of Cups. There's going to be a huge, huge, huge stable offer of love. And this is not wearing his heart on his sleeve. That's, this is not codependent love. This is true, unwavering, solid love. Okay? Balanced. And then you've got the... Six of Wands in the upright, which is winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is nice. Let's get you some uh, romance oracle cards or angel romance cards. We got two out. Any more for Gemini? Any more? One more shuffle. Any more for Gemini? Any more for Gemini? Any more for Gemini? Any more? Spirit says one more. Thank you. There they went. They wanted to come out. They just weren't. I wasn't doing it right. So we got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Go figure. Ain't that exactly what I said? Gemini, listen to your reader. Free yourself. There's somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be somebody from your past. Okay. This is like the Eight of Swords. This is that energy of being stuck. It's time to take back control of your life. Why? Because you're calling in a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And you are healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents or somebody. And then you have wedding. This situation involves marriage. For some of you, you might be married to this person. You're going to reconcile. For others, you're going to leave a marriage or a stable relation or stable, a committed relationship and move forward. Because this situation involves marriage. I'm not feeling an impending marriage. Not for you, Gemini. Not yet. Okay, this is healing and releasing. Yeah, new love. Calling in your soulmate, new love, passion, and this involves children. Of course it does because it's the twin flames, okay? The twins were children when all of these contracts were drawn up and agreed to. So this has been your reading, Gemini. I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. If you find yourself in the area, come and see me in, in um, New York. I said it all, so I'm not going to say any more. We're at the end of this one. We're going to move on. we got one left. Taurus and Aries, check you out on the other side. I love you.